Hello, my name is Russell Squires, and I'm here today on behalf of expertvillage.com. I'm going to be talking to you today about the parts of the bow. To begin with, we have our shaft. It's made up of two parts. We have a grip and the upper portion. This can be made either out of uh, fiberglass or wood. Wood is normally a higher quality of bow. That leads up to the tip. The tip is where the top half of the hair is uh, kept taut. The hair is the portion of the bow that we use to actually pull the strings and produce sound. That's connected to the frog, which is then connected to the screw. These two pieces work by when you twist the screw clockwise, it tightens up a eyelid on the frog, which pulls it downward and tightens the hairs. The proper position for playing a bow is to have it tightened where there is only a slight curve towards the hair. To produce a good full sound with the hair on the bow, we have to make it really sticky. And that's why we use rosin. Rosin is basically just a tree sap that's usually an orangish color. We rub it on the bow and it turns it a bright white. Once this is done, we can play the cello. The bow is gripped by placing a thumb at the base of the, of the grip on the shaft, and the rest of the fingers are simply wrapped around the front in a curving motion. When we produce sound, we simply lay the bow on the string we want to play, and with a light pulling motion, applying only a slight amount of pressure, we pull the full extent of the bow.